Hey folks, we hadn't done something completely different in the channel in a while, so we got ourselves a carbon fiber acoustic guitar that we're going to try out and review. This marvel of modern materials is the Enya Music Nova Go Acoustic, which is marketed as a travel and beginner's guitar. I'm very intrigued by this guitar. I have heard some good things about it. They are selling for around $190 on Amazon at the time of this review, which may or may not be a pretty good deal depending on what it turns out to be like. So the first thing I notice is that the bag is not the bag that I have seen on the reviews that people posted from about a year ago. That bag previously was some sort of a shell bag and this is a cloth bag. So I'm a little concerned that they made changes. Hopefully they were for better, but we shall see. All right. Well, it, it is tiny. <laughs> As far as the fit and finish goes, I don't really have many complaints, but uh, I might smooth the frets a little because they are very abrasive and that's not nice. Everything else though, it is very well put together. It is comfortable, there's a little bit of creaking from the strap and uh, it does suffer from neck dive because the headstock is quite heavy and uh, there is no weight here. But I don't think it's heavy to the point of being uncomfortable, but you definitely notice that you have to prop it up. And... It's pretty resonant. to watch a beginner plug strings. So, oh, here's my there friend Bill, is. who's been playing the guitar for longer than I've been around, I think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> For what it costs, I mean, it's, I mean, can you get a good acoustic guitar for a hundred million dollars? No. It's pretty amazing. It, it, it rains and it has a good bass also to it. Yep. That's one of the impressive parts of it. And it comes with a case, it comes with a strap. Uh, came with an extra set of strings. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Yeah, what are these strings? Is it the uh, strings they came with? They're the Dario something or another. I'll put it on that, the screen. That you bought? No, they came with the guitar. Yeah. That's what came with the guitar. Strings are a little high. It feels high. Yeah, just a little bit. This is pretty much right out of the box, though. Well, I had to polish the frets, but other than that, that's basically how it is out of the box. I think it's astounding. I don't like that you could cover this, but it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. I'm not even sure the song is actually beat, dude. Maybe try putting some tape on it, see if it... 
I can oh. hear the difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does make a difference. In the body, I think it's a ripoff of the Les Paul. <laughs> well, it's it's small. Yeah. And it has an amazing um, volume for such a small guitar. It does. It's pretty easy but to play. I'm just a little high on the action. By yeah, it makes standards. it a little, a little hard to play. Playing over here is fine. Nothing is buzzing. I did check the frets to make sure that they were flat. <laughs> um, none of them felt high. The, the, the fret on rocker. Right. And none of them were seesawing. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. See the way it's made? There's no real mm -hmm. nut. Oh, it's a zero fret, they call it. Interesting. So, I think it's just another way to keep the cost of making it down because right. I don't think they're making any money on this. <laughs> I mean, just the strings, you know, they're $16. And uh, case, strap, uh, tuners, machine tuners. The machines. These machine tuners, they can't be bought off barrel. Right. They are good. <laughs> yeah, they are. And the whole process of doing it, and frets, and whoever has to put it together. Is this one piece, do you know? It's all one piece. This is all one this piece? one piece. The bridge is not glued. It's molded with the top. That's pretty wild. I thought as a beginner at first, it doesn't have the dots on the fretboard. It has them on top, but it doesn't have them on the fretboard. I thought that was going to be a problem, and I've been playing with it for a week. And mm -hmm. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I thought it's going to be difficult, but no. It's like, oh, they're up here. If I need them, I can see them. It's interesting. Kind of, yeah, I didn't even notice. I originally contacted Enya Music, and I say, hey, I'm a luthier, and mm -hmm. I'm a beginner at, the, at learning the guitar, and uh, I have a YouTube channel. Would you guys like to send me a guitar to try it out? And uh, they were kind enough to reply to me saying, we'll forward your message to our marketing department. If they are interested, they'll contact you. Right. But uh, four weeks passed and nobody contacted me. So I said, I'm going to buy it anyway. I'm intrigued. It's on Amazon for 151. Is it 151? All right, it's 151 on Amazon right now. I've been trying to think something bad to say about it because I hate to just make a review and say, Oh, everything is absolutely awesome, especially when they're not paying me to do it. <laughs> but uh, I, I guess my only complaint of it, it looks like a toy. That's what it says. A little bit. But, you know, they have this really nice, like, yeah, swirl in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, th I think it needs something more. Maybe mm -hmm. a tramp stamp here or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just something else uh, purfling around, something that would highlight it a little more. I don't know. But that's not for the user to personalize, perhaps. I don't think it would care if you painted it or put stickers. Yeah, right? It wouldn't matter at all if yeah. you put stickers all over it. I thought for sure it wouldn't have a very good response up here. Mm -hmm. But it really does. Yeah, from a 12 friend. Yeah, the action's a little high, but you know, a lot of guitars uh, come like that, I, you know, I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Generally, an acoustic guitar will have a higher action because people just... And it keeps the buzzing down. Nobody ever plays up here. Right? Everybody's always playing here. Yeah, they're not really playing like a classical guitar where you need all those precise notes. Is that the stairway to heaven?
Yeah, I would just lower the action, and I think it's uh, I think it's a pretty sweet guitar. From a luthier's perspective, as far as, far as craftsmanship is concerned, and it passes my opinion. This is yep. top notch. There is no sharp edges. The frets they're smooth <laughs> on the sides. Also. They're actually oddly round, like in a nice round. way. <laughs> they're like really round because you know I don't think. They made it the way you make a guitar with the fret wire yeah, and then, and then file it down. Them, no, right. They so. probably just made and put in the, you know, I mean, I'm just yeah. assuming, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're already this shape when they put them in the guitar. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting. Uh, it's comfortable and that's player comfort is one of the most important things. It's completely comfortable. And it's comfortable to play. Other than being a little high in the action. Right. I think it's pretty good. It rings. That's the part that I. It really does. Really, you don't expect. I can't that believe how sweet it is up here. Yes, you don't expect that out of carbon fiber. You expect to be all nasal and muffled and. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's fantastic. It would be interesting if you could plug it in. Uh, they do have a version that's it's mm -hmm. more expensive. I think it's two hundred eighty, two ninety nine. Yeah, and then that's an interesting. Um, uh, that would be interesting to hear too, mm -hmm. because if the electronics are really bad, or however they do the pickup is really bad, then that's not worth anything. Mm -hmm. You know, so that would be curious. Well, maybe any of, I'll show it to any of the, the, the review video, and maybe they'll send me the electronic version. Yeah, let's see what it sounds like, you know, with the electrics. Um, we'll see what it sounds like. I feel bad that I wore black, because it just kind of like... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, they have other colors. But oh. there are a bunch of pastel colors. That must that be I've, even worse. I was like, oh, that didn't work for me. <laughs> yeah. They have a, a black and white one that I was very tempted. It was the choice between this one or the black and white What's one. white? The body. Oh. But the part, I don't like the bridge is also white because it's all one because piece. Because it's all one piece. And yeah. uh, it got lost in there. If the bridge was black, that would have been the one to go. Right. Although this is, I mean, this is not bad. No, everything goes with black. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. Yep. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was the end shot. <laughs> so you heard it. This is quite a remarkable instrument. And uh, an advantage it has over uh, natural materials like wood is that because this is a man-made material, they all should sound good like this. The only difference is going to be the player, of course. And uh, uh, Ash, where are you going? So I'm very pleased with this. And I'm curious about the other products. So if any music is watching and wants to send me some other, some other stuff to review, I'll make a video. <laughs> Until then, thank you so much to Bill and everybody who helped make this video possible. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Now go practice. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs>